Good afternoon, Michael Masserang here again, and we're working on a commercial project. Uh, this is a townhome community, uh, and we were referred to this project uh, by uh, some licensed engineers uh, to bid this project and work with this community to stabilize a uh, retaining wall. A lot of these developments do have uh, retaining walls, and there's literally probably hundreds of miles of this stuff around the Charlotte area. So uh, this is an issue that is developing and probably is common with a lot of these communities. So uh, we are working with this community to stabilize uh, the retaining wall. And that's why I'm here today to take a look at it. Uh, the guys are at lunch, so this is a great time for me to kind of review the work area. And incidentally, this particular job features uh, what we call limited access drilling. Uh, they have worked with another company, I guess in the past, uh, who did a few anchors uh, on this project, uh, some lateral anchor systems, and they have failed. And you can see this is a precast wall. And you can see uh, where uh, it, through improper installation, probably more so this is a drainage problem and a soils issue. You can see we've got a lot of cracks uh, in this precast wall. The wall is rotating out as well as settling. So we are doing a combined protocol of what we call a soil nail stabilization protocol which is going to provide lateral support to this wall. And you can see I'm looking at some of the cracks here, which are very interesting uh, to see how this has developed over the years. Uh, and normally these types of walls are pretty stable, but uh, sometimes uh, you, can have, uh, you can have engineering problems uh, with these types of walls. Maybe it's just too tall to support the lateral load combined with the drainage problem and the soil. You know, it's just starting to move. So regardless, because it's a, a precast wall, uh, we're able to stabilize it. So we just got to drill through it. Also, we're going to do a series of foundation underpinning units that will be applied at the base of this wall. You can see where some of the top of the footer has been exposed through erosion. Uh, we had to clear all this debris back. We're next to some train tracks, so this all got grown up with all kinds of vegetation. Uh, but you can see here some of the soil nail uh, locations. Uh, per the engineer's design, we'll put that up for you so you can see uh, how this was designed. Uh, this is, you know, of course, a project of this size and this nature. It is required in the state of North Carolina to bring in a licensed engineer. You certainly don't want Skippy, the commission-based sales rep from one of these local franchises, to get involved with this project. They don't have, they don't have the expertise, they don't have the training, and they don't have this limited access type of equipment that you'll see here. This specialized drill rig that you'll see here is how we are advancing the soil nail retain, uh, retention system. Uh, you can see here, this drill is a special drill to actually core uh, through this wall because it's 12 inches thick. And then we've got, you know, we've got rebar in, mixed in with this. And then on the back side, there's rocks and utilities. We had to spend quite a long time developing this project. We had to get a, you know, doing utility locates. We had to have a plumber investigate uh, some of those sewer lines underneath some of these apartments or townhomes. So you don't just want to get out here and start drilling. You definitely want to do your homework and make sure that you're not drilling into a sewer line or an electrical line or maybe even uh, a, a, a fiber or optics line. So a lot of time, months of preparation went into this. And, you know, if you do have, a, if you're a community or an HOA or uh, your property management company here in the Charlotte uh, region and you're looking for an expert that has the ability to get into a limited access situation like this where you can't get any heavy equipment back here. This is the kind of stuff that Chris really loves to do and there's really nobody else in the city that does it. So uh, this gave us pretty much a, 
you know, a lay down with uh, this HOA because not only was it the cheapest application using limited access drilling technology, but it also, uh, we were the only ones qualified to be here. And, you know, the industry does tend to be franchise based. Uh, you can see here some of the rods. This is one of the, you can see where uh, you can see the sleeve in there. Uh, uh, as well as the rod as it's back into the soil going back, you know, 20, 25 feet. And, uh, you know, uh, your average franchise uh, organization in the phone book doesn't offer these products. And you certainly can't put a helical pier in here. How are you going to get a helical pier through here? I mean, you can't even get the equipment back here. And so you, you put in a helical, it's going to be a hole that's three times the size, which is going to create drainage problems. And the soil on the other side of this wall, through soil testing, we determined that a helical pile wouldn't be the right, the right product. So you can see, you know, these are all the locations that they've installed so far. There will be a mechanical interface that comes in on the back side of this once everything has been grouted and it's had ample cure time. But the capacities on these anchors, I mean, we're gonna get a 25, 30 kip anchor out here for each location. Uh, and that's gonna be sufficient to give us the applied loads to support this laterally. Uh, you know, we've recommended to the client, we should probably have these bushes removed, any types of uh, vegetation, trees, that type of thing should be removed so that you're not applying that type of force, that uh, hydrostatic force uh, on the wall. But, you know, certainly it's gonna be stable. And that's why we were hired. And this is, this is the type of work that we really wanna get into more in the Charlotte market and just happens to be that we're the most qualified. So if you're lim interested in limited access drilling uh, and you're, again, an HOA uh, or a property management company and uh, you know, you've got one of these uh, uh, retaining walls, whether it's a precast like this one or it could be a timber retaining wall. We also have timber retaining wall applications. It might just be a dry stack wall. It could be any type of these walls that could be in place to support these developments. If you're uh, noticing distress, cracking, uh, you know, lateral movement, uh, settlement, you know, we, we have the right team of professionals, engineers. Uh, you know, we're a smaller company, so we, you might have to wait for us for a few months, but if you're patient, you get a 30 year veteran on your job site and that's my business partner chris and so piedmont foundation repair is what is probably the oldest and most qualified foundation repair company in charlotte you can reach us at that phone number uh, at the bottom of your screen contact me directly at my cell phone which you'll see at the bottom of the screen or the incoming office number for piedmont foundation repair and then we'll get you started uh working with our favorite engineering team and we, uh, we do have several engineers that refer us, but we have uh, one particular firm that we work with uh, time and time again. And you probably, you saw the engineering schematic from that firm uh, during this video. Uh, you know, they're the best in the business. And uh, we, we certainly have a 15 year relationship uh, with that engineering firm and uh, help us to develop these projects. So. Uh, again, thanks for joining us today for, uh, we're at halftime during lunchtime, so I picked a good time to come and a nice cold brisk day here in Charlotte and you get to see some limited access drilling, some soil nail technology, and then uh, I'll be back again for another video as we progress through the project so you can see the different phases as we move through it. And we'll definitely be here several weeks. So look forward to seeing you for uh, the second part. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Take care.